How is it going, everyone? Dry Gaming here. Welcome back to episode number 51 of my Dry's Topic Wednesdays. Now, this week, I have a topic that I want you guys to really think about before you put an answer or comment in the comment section down below. Um, hopefully, I can make sense of what I'm going to be saying. So, hopefully, you guys understand. This is my opinion. So, be sure to respect my opinion and be sure to let me know your thoughts and opinion too, as well, in the comment section. Now, be sure to definitely leave any such things you guys may have for a topic that you'd like for me to use. Uh, if it's too personal, then be sure to just send me an email, which of course my email link will be in the description. So that way I know you want me to keep it confidential and speak about whatever you want me to speak about. So let's get involved and of course share your thoughts and opinion with us in the comment section. Now, if you're on the thumbnail, you guys should tell what we're going to be talking about. It's going to be, of course, in regards to are we becoming too insensitive to others? Now, obviously, when I say too insensitive to others, I mean in general on YouTube, just pretty much, you know, a wide variety of different aspects of life, so to speak. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this as well is because I've noticed that people these days just seem to have no sympathy for anyone else, no understanding of what's going on around them. And everyone seems to run with everything else people say. If someone goes online and say, um, you know there's no you know big skeletons therefore there should be no fat people um it's absolutely ridiculous in my opinion uh but you, you get my point uh to use a skeleton as defining that people should not be fat or skinny or whatever it, it's just absolutely ridiculous in my opinion but nevertheless um but you have people will agree with that and because of their beliefs and you know how they, you know their thoughts they you know just the way the wheel turns in their head and therefore make excuse for everything else around them if it doesn't you know see according to what they think the world should be and how people should be and what should fit now obviously i'm making reference to certain things that happened in recent weeks and certain comments that were made uh to a specific group of people and so forth etc i'm not going to be calling anyone's name to give them any credit because that's not what i'm here to do uh i'm here just to share my thoughts and opinion just kind of get you guys thoughts and opinion as well like i always do now to answer that question that i just asked are we becoming too insensitive i absolutely think we absolutely are and that is a fact i mean it, it just is and especially with this whole rise up now of uh, you know being politically correct and people being against being politically correct uh, There's just certain things that you have the rights to say because of, of course um, You just have the right <laughs> to say or amendment, but at the same time There's also a thing called principle and understanding and you know being you know sensitive to other people's feelings and how people feel obviously sometimes certain things has to be said to kind of get people going but I think sometimes you have to know how to say it and how to go about it. Now, in which case, the latest uh, installment <laughs> of uh, ridiculousness that happened uh, definitely wasn't um, fed the correct way, in my opinion. wasn't um, done correctly. And it was uh, definitely come off as being very um, naive and offensive to a lot of people, which I tend to definitely agree with. And while you have a lot of people who actually agree with this person and feel like nothing was wrong, and of course, that's their opinion too as well. Now, however, I do find uh, problems with, of course, uh, plenty of things she said, and also find problems, um, you know, not so much problems, but find a little bit of truth into some of the things she said too as well. Now, obviously, there's people that abuse uh, food and so forth, etc. A lot of those people do have issues that are going on with them. Uh, you know, mentally, um, you know, they have a um, eating disorder, so forth, uh, which can be brought on by a lot of different things, stress in your life, different dramatic stress and stuff that goes on. Um, obviously, if you're not someone into that or read about these things, you wouldn't know that. So you can automatically assume that people can just all of a sudden stop eating if they have a disorder and so forth, etc. And then the, the amazing thing is that a lot of us tend to see people uh, being overweight and being fat or whatever and we automatically assume that person eats too much or automatically assume that a person is overeating and just not healthy and so forth etc well, the fact is there's a plenty of people out there that's overweight and are still healthy because just because they're overweight doesn't mean that they're not eating properly and eating correct 
you have some people that have medical issues where they just can't they gain weight doesn't matter what they eat they gain weight and by offsetting that what some people do is work out therefore they don't lose a whole lot of weight it's almost like balancing not going overweight or going too much overweight it's just like balancing where you have some people who work out and they shred the pound you have some people who eat like pig and don't put any weight on it, it doesn't go anywhere and guess what <laughs> i know plenty of people and there's plenty of people that are diabetic have diabetes and they are skinny you see them and you would never think to yourself why is this person you know obese i mean they're not fat but the truth of the matter is is that everybody has different body types everybody's genetic is different and of course that plays a part into how people you know consume uh food and get retained into their body and you know um kind of shares throw people's body uh, a lot of that definitely makes a difference and like i said i know people that eat healthy um have their proper meal don't eat a lot of fat work out and can't shed the pounds and then you have some people who can you know eat whatever they want go and work out they shed all the pounds and they're still not eating healthy but because they're working out they're able to shed all that pound some people just shed pounds faster than some people I mean, just that's the way it is, man. Everyone is their own individual. Everyone's body is different. The genetics are different. I mean, just that's the way it is. Just like some people have genes for certain uh, affinity to certain things, um, you know, certain diseases and so forth, etc. Just depend on your body type, um, your genes and so forth, etc. That plays a big part as well. The same thing goes for weight and so forth as well. Um, I mean, there, there's no mistake in that. that. That's just the way it is. And I feel like some people don't necessarily understand that. Now, um, some of the things that was also said too as well was that, you know, how this person supposedly went to a supermarket and got skipped in line because there's two people that was riding on scooters or whatever, et cetera, smelling like uh, bacon and our, our sausage, right? I think the word was and so forth. And it amazes me how the person said, uh, this is not for people who have medical issues, but I'll proceed to, of course, to destroy these people not knowing if these people do have medical issues or not and you can't say that you know they don't have medical issues because they didn't show you that you don't know who these people are so how could you have known that these people have medical issues or not and that's the problem i think that lies within of course a lot of us um you know people you know I, we just we're quick to judge we see someone that's overweight and automatically we think they eat too much and they're eating all these different steaks and sausage and all these different things and overeating and that's not always the case it's not <laughs> like i said before there's plenty of people that i knew especially when i was going to school and now that i'm out of school there's plenty of people that i've known and come across that have been absolutely skinny uh been at their weight and because of their eating habits and how they used to pig out and eat especially knowing the fact that they can eat and not put on any weight have bad just as just as much if not worse eating habits than some people that are overweight obviously we do know that some people do take advantage again like i stated before of this and you know may do it to please their spouse please their boyfriend girlfriend so forth etc obviously in that case we condone we don't condone those things and of course people shouldn't be doing those for you know to keep a relationship going so forth but people do it is it a majority of i would say majority of people that do it does that no it's a very very um you know a minuscule amount of people that does that in my opinion so i don't think it's necessarily a big big issue but obviously that is there as well so I think we need to be a little more sensitive and understand what is going on in people's body. Understand what's going on with people. And understand that not everyone can be just like you. Eat healthy and be able to just keep the weight off. Some people do eat healthy and try to eat healthy. And there's plenty of things that just don't allow them to. And obviously I'm not making an excuse. That's just life. That's just the way it is. If you guys want to go and look it up and do your research, I strongly suggest you guys do so too as well. Because there's plenty of food out there for thought for a lot of you guys. Now, with that said, be sure to let me know your thoughts and opinion in the comment section. Obviously, that could have gone a lot more and gone into a little more details and other stuff. But just wanted to kind of give my two cents, give my thoughts. I do think that we are becoming way too insensitive to other people's issues and problems and so forth. Especially when we're not experiencing them ourselves. And we need to be, you know, a little more considerate and of course giving people the benefit of the doubt versus judging people just because of the way they look what we may think or what society want us to actually think let me know your thoughts and opinion in the comment section hopefully you guys enjoyed this one if you guys did be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new here and of course as always 
I'm your host, Jiraiya Gaming. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.